laughing at me. Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom because you have that big ass fucking laptop on your lap. I got the biggest <laughs> one possible. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm like, why is it like, why do you have it? Because there's some things on here that we need to talk about. Oh, that, okay. Yeah. There's some things on here that. Your search history. We're going to go through it and talk about it. Honestly, we could. Can I, can I type something in and see what pops up? Let me do it first. <laughs> what, well, you don't know what I'm going to look up. What are you looking up? Yeah, see. we're good. <laughs> looking up gay. <laughs> and looking up porn. Oh, that site has been visited before. <laughs> Wait, what's that? What's you... that link? I would like to read it. No. <laughs> That's crazy. It just got, it says huge in it, though. I can never. And it's talking about breasts, <laughs> big fucking knockers oh, okay. and bonbons. And I'll never get over. Um, Bronsons. Us talking about search history and me being like, yeah, I hate when someone takes my phone because like the links will pop up. And then you were just like, why don't you use incognito? And that changed my life. You know um, what? And people. Because I never did that before. I don't know why. I don't really use incognito because I'm not into damaging my brain because porn is really damaging. And like oh, it's okay. an addiction and y'all all need fucking help. Who's and I would never partake in that. Um, but <laughs> I can clock someone who is an avid porn viewer by opening their phone and going to Safari and not even typing in a letter. But if it's in, in incognito little... mode, oh. they watch a lot of fucking porn. Well, because a lot of people just leave, their, just use incognito mode as their search. I know somebody who does that. We both are very close to somebody who does I that. Know, and you I know, know who. Oh, I know a few. But, but yeah, like right. you need to be slicker with the way you view your P word. Um, well, I just buy it analog. I believe in consuming magazines and oh, wow. then looking at pictures and leaving the rest of my to my imagination. But I also do this thing where I just um, I make my own zines, and they're usually send it pictures to me, send it to of me, you. Send it to me. Oh, but that was, oh. they're pictures of you when you're not looking. And then I I look at those and I let my imagination roam and I think of the nights we've spent. Were together. you using the shower camera? Yeah. Oh my god. How did you know? I installed it. I know, but like I didn't know you knew I had access to it. Okay, whatever. Like you're freaking <laughs> me out right now. Like you're really scaring me. With this Why do you thing. have this big fucking contraption on your lap? Okay, so I did. We should have um, put a sticker over that. I know. I literally, I literally <laughs> thought about that, and I was like, no, like Apple, respect. Like, give me money. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I thought. Or no, no, no. I got um, one of those Ancestry ancestry DNA reports Incest. done. Yeah, I got one of those Ancestry DNA reports done um, uh, to find out, like, what I am. Obviously, like, I'm Cracker. Like, I'm literally 100% <laughs> Cracker. Like, it's what it is. Like, it's okay. Um, what it but is, oh, what's up? on top of that, I... <laughs> guy is, like, dying um but on top of that i found out about this thing called promethease i think that's how you say it but you take the dna data that ancestry.com extracts and it you in like you can download it as a text file and then you can upload that text and it's like i mean it's all of your dna like all of all the that from some spit exactly it's crazy um but you can install it or you can upload it into Prometheus. i got a few people i could do that uh, test on, you know what I mean? Because all that spit. It's trapped in your crevices. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, while you were talking, I had a moment where I was going to butt in and make a really stupid joke and then I bit the fuck out of my tongue because I was like, I shouldn't interrupt and this. Then you you're explaining listening. something. And then, no, and I was listening, but I was trying to juggle the joke that I had in my head before I forgot it and listening. And then I thought about it and I was like, the joke only made sense in that moment and that's why I had to cut in. Um, because now it's like not as funny as it could have been, but the joke was, and now I just have to say it. The joke was when you were like, oh my God, Kai's over there dying. And I was going to be like, oh, for you audio listeners, when he says that Kai's not actually on screen dying, he's just like laughing really hard. <laughs> and I thought you were going to make joke. like an old joke, like Kai is over there dying now because he's like 86 or something. No, I was just going to like, just for people who maybe don't understand that phrase, like I don't want to. Like, if someone's driving and they're like, oh, my God, Kai's dying. I need to, like, switch oh, over to visual. Like, he's not dying. Wow. He's When we say that, we mean, like, he's laughing so hard. Um. Yeah, when I say, like, I'm dead <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> I'm dead as fuck. 
Um, but... For anyone who's 8 million years old listening and confused. Okay. <laughs> so Prometheus takes that DNA data and tells you, like, based off of specific, like, um, whatever they're fucking called. Don't ask me questions about it. It's beyond my head. But, like, it goes through each DNA strands and it finds, like, the markers in your DNA that, like, show higher risk for certain things. Yeah. And it's, like, it's good, bad, and just, like, whatever. And, like, it, like... Um, which it's actually funny because I have it just highlighted on bad and mail is popping up, which is interesting. <laughs> um, but <laughs> like guys, you being a male. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Um, but guys, like it's over for me. Like you really thought like, uh, I thought it was blood clots. Like I thought it was black mold. Like I thought it was like anything else other than this but like it's so like i'm down bad like i might it's not much make worse it. than we could have ever imagined i literally like might not make the it. the thing is i just don't like i believe in science but i don't know that i believe in this because i'm like okay one it's insane that like your data is just out there after doing that one thing to buy this information from someone else but two bitch if i was running this business i would lie it's deleted in lie. 45 days oh really yeah um, but that's why I did it. Cause I was like, I'm not doing all that. Um, but this is so bad. So guys, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to do this podcast for because like, this is really, really bad. <laughs> uh, but it says okay. significantly increased approximately 20 times more than the average person risk for a rare B cell lymphoma, bitch. I don't know what that means. Like, I literally, like, what it's is that? It's cancer. Oh, I okay. have 20 times higher risk of getting B-cell cancer. This is, it's, like, so bad. Like, <laughs> y'all, and, but like. But you don't it, have, like, you don't, you don't know that you have it. It's you probably just, already like, brewing in there. Like This is the equivalent so, to, like, reading someone's chart. No, that's like, what I was saying. like, you could have a bad day today, but we don't know for I sure. was saying um, today that I was, like, this is so bad for me because, like, this is literally, like, looking at how I'm going to die basically <laughs> because there's more shit on here like I have an increased risk for um type 2 diabetes like a generational Which we, risk like we kind of knew that yeah like yeah, we like, I already yeah. have that um, you literally your body physically can't digest any meal I have a that's five, over like 10 calories <laughs> and I go like. to sleep immediately <laughs> I got a 5.7 times increased risk for thyroid cancer where's your, what's a thyroid it's like this. Oh, thing. in your throat. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, well, I, well, I know how you got the throat one. <laughs> this one's crazy. I got a 6.2 times increased risk of developing prostate cancer. Again, you know how you got that? One? <laughs> um, <laughs> that one's from me. This we can blame one, that one on me. This one says, and it read me to filth, that I probably have um, scaly skin patches, which is. <laughs> Um, so it's just like you're kind of ugly you might die from cancer but this is the greatest information i have ever gotten in my life and it quite literally might be the only reason why like I got that it's this. worth it yeah and it says unlikely to go bald hey! <laughs> not if i have anything to do with it not as long as you're living with me because well, when, when i hit it from the back i ripped that hair out <laughs> <laughs> i was like it's, it's such a bad habit I'm also going to get breast cancer probably at some point in my <laughs> Is life. Is that what it says? Yeah. I just don't find those kind of jokes funny. Um, so. Wait, there's some more shit. Age-related muscular degeneration. <laughs> so you're going to get arthritis? Probably. Yeah, I feel like everybody, Actually, does everybody I have a four not time get arthritis? Risk, I have a four-time risk for rheumatoid arthritis, and it just says in Caucasians. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does everybody not get arthritis? I feel like with um, age, you kind of just get it. Not everybody. Rheumatoid arthritis is like, you can get arthritis, and that's just like, I think, general. Um, Aches and pains? Yeah, just general, like, with age. But rheumatoid arthritis is like a disease, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's like really fucking your shit up? Yeah. You're like down. Imagine that. not being able to finger yourself, bro. Like, um, damn. Yeah, that does I guess you have the awful. technology to do it with other things. God made so many things. But I'm trying to get way. where, because you can just highlight all the good stuff, but it's not freaking popping up. There is no good stuff, dude. That's the thing. It's like, there's no way to highlight it because there's nothing good in your future. I know. Like, literally. This says, the only oh my one God, that right popped here up. It says, 
you should kill yourself. Like, yeah, no, this one says my God, that's that. That's a weird thing to pay like. For. I have like an abnormally large penis and like big fucking. Oh wait, wait let this me see because I don't see that. This on there. one actually does say um, that like my brain is really massive and that like it probably goes over. Why are you a lot closing it? Because I want to see that. Like, like everything I say and that like you're really misunderstood and like just things like that. Like just generally misunderstood. They got person. that from your DNA. How would they know that? don't drew has issues dude the things drew spends money on i don't understand like if you are ever wondering what drew spends his money on it's shit like that and this and i think that's like a really good and rocks rocks and bugs, bugs. this okay for the girls that don't know because i'm sure a few of y'all out there know, this is this like is an is insane called, show and tell this is called a duo mine um and like i said a few episodes ago i am like so incredibly down bad and like i'm really addicted to pokemon go right now this connects via bluetooth to your pokemon go app and while you're driving or walking you don't even have to open the pokemon go app it just spins the stops and catches the pokemon for you guess how much this was for all that convenience too much how much i know so i can't say i would guess 70 bucks uh, wow that was actually a really that good guess. A really good guess good. you were for a ten dollars of... lower it was 80 fucking dollars that's oh, stupid wow. it's Dude, for let convenience me touch it. no for convenience let me see if that's no that's that feels a, like i was an gonna eight... make that joke because it literally feels like it should be three bucks yeah this you could have got this on shein yeah, but it probably would have hacked my Pokemon Go account. And I've How do you know like this isn't years. hacking your phone? This is just collecting data. Like you're, what doesn't make sense is you're somebody who's so scared of being surveillanced and watched, but then you openly and willingly carry a data collecting thing <laughs> in your pocket well, so that you can have digital Pokemon on your phone. I am, like, a, I am a targeted individual, but we all know this already. I was talking about that the other day with somebody and I was like, there was an era where Drew genuinely thought, and at first I was like, oh my God, this is another one of his, like when he thinks he has blood clots, like he thinks he's like, like has an ear infection or something. But there was a time where Drew genuinely was convinced he was being followed and stalked, which again, doesn't make sense because no offense, boring person No, no, to who stalk. wouldn't want all like, of this? Like, I don't think I'm it, just, why, I'm, we, it's not like a sexual thing though, no, was it? It, it? it was, it was like, they want me so fucking bad. Um, no, it was more of like, I knew too much. Like I was too. What awoken. and what do you know that any other schizophrenic person with a TikTok account doesn't know? <laughs> like, what did you know versus those people? Not much, honestly. <laughs> like it's 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 really bad. No, I was literally just like actually. I really thought I was like being followed, or the universe was sending me signs and shit through like fucking blinkers and lights that were out on vehicles like headlights when i was driving at night it was really I really know, scary because i'd be like oh there's another one there's another one there's another one and it was it was abnormal there were way more than normal and i was like what is this telling me well it, was it like, also oh, was don't like sit. if you think about it it was kind of during covid time so in my head that makes sense because i'm like people are less likely to want to go to a shop or like get their shit fixed Et cetera, et cetera. Actually, what it was is it was the higher powers telling me not to sit on the left side of the vehicle because that's car a car is gonna hit. And that that's and why kill you me. were a passenger princess, exactly. not because you didn't have a car exactly. and you're bad at driving, but because the higher powers were telling you that you, you need to sit in the passenger seat. You knew. You know it. <laughs> Um, right. But yeah, I was I was a targeted individual for a while. I'm not anymore. I will say that light that shines, the like camera thing that shines in our backyard, doesn't make sense. But I'm it's assuming weird. that's like a mini five G tower, so I can watch more TikToks. Yeah, exactly. And that's all it takes. It is weird, and they were working on it the other day, and the workers were all really sketchy and looking at us. <laughs> I think it is like a camera or like a lidar sensor, like facing into our backyard. But like, what it's would they even in, like, get rent. from that? Oh. It's directly. What are you into doing in the window. back? Yeah, what are you doing that you're like? You don't want to know that. Oh, my nails are so fucking brittle and thin right now. I feel so emasculated. Like, like when I when my nails get cut or I bite my nails too short, it makes me like five percent weaker. Like I don't know how to describe it, but when my nails go when they're after being long and I cut them short, like I feel it's, you don't live in a primitive time where you need strong nails though. I know. Well, I climb trees like a lot. <laughs> I don't think like I think even if your nails were strong, would they help you climb trees? Imagine putting all your weight on your nails. 
I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, well, I think porta potties are like, remember how you keep talking about barbarian things that we do? Porta potties are so barbarian and weird. I've always felt so weirded out by them. They are so nasty. Like, there has to be a better system. It's just shit and piss sitting there, and you go Cooking and you in spray. The sun. Yeah. You go and you spray your piss on top of it. All the particles are like bouncing up. All the bacteria is bouncing up right into your hole. You're going to die. You're going to catch something. Like, yeah. I would rather piss on the street than piss in a porta potty i also would just like to piss in public in general me too i would like to see you do that too can you do yeah, that yeah you want to see me pop a squat yeah i would like really like that yeah. actually um no yeah <laughs> uh porta potties are really scary and they give me bad fucking vibes like even beyond just like the shit and piss stench like in there like literally just like the energy it gives off i'm like some weird shit has like there's never a light in there even when it's in a dark place it's like fully dark and they make the plastic thin enough that a little light seeks through and it's just like they make it dark in there so you can't look directly into the hole that you're doing your business in because then everybody will step back and be like this is the weirdest thing ever and that's why they don't put lights in porta potties is because they don't want you to see exactly what's going on in there also you are a fucking maniac if you're going in there and tagging a porta potty on the inside that marker now is carrying like a new strain of virus that's gonna kill like the yeah. whole population that might be their goal that might be the goal yeah but they're really gross and they scare me also those little water contraptions that you step on to wash your hands that they've like <laughs> invented in the past five years before that there was nothing to wash I your know. hands outside of a porta potty I, which is really fucking those. nasty but also like the water sitting in there is just like freaks me out because i'm like there's no way there's enough water in here to sustain watch it washing this many people's hands and i'm convinced that the water in there is being just like recycled and it's we're all washing each other's piss water. our hands with like piss water yeah i know those i think those were like a really really great invention um okay. it was a reactionary invention though they need a mirror on it or something though also when mirror like bathrooms don't have mirrors i'm pretty sure i've said this but it literally feels like a death sentence Candy like man. it feels like i'm being Candy thrown man. into an asylum Candy Candy man. Is that what that movie is about? No. A mirror? But if you say Candyman three times into a mirror, it pops up. Oh, so it's like Bloody Mary. Yeah. Wow. So they replaced Bloody Mary with a man. Candyman? Is Candy yeah, Candyman's the one with the hooks and Did the you bees. see that movie? Uh, I saw it like 20 years ago. Like my dad loved that movie. For some reason, Candyman sounds like a new movie to me. They remade it. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. but the old one, there was like a scene where he was like covered in bees or something and it scarred me for a lot we are are we taught to be afraid of bees or are we just like is natural, it primal like is it in our dna human instinct. yeah like i think it might be natural human instinct because it's not like in school they taught us like what bugs to be scared of was that your fucking pokemon thing talking to you yeah it speak as a speaker on it yeah can you play music off that thing no but i can it out listen 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 87 pokemon pot visited. It kind of keeps track of everything I've done. And since I've gotten it, 97 Pokemon stops visited. That's incredible. <laughs> well, your bag is full. That's what it just told <laughs> you. So it's not going to be collecting anymore. I'm gonna set this over here. I Tell me what's wrong with him. Fucking speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put it. Oh, under the why room. don't you just turn it off? You don't want to stop catching Pokemon. No, yeah, I'm gonna keep it on to catch all of the rare Pokemon in our vicinity. Dude, something is seriously wrong with you. It's up and it stuck. Hey, I saw Drake and it actually, for once, I was actually not for once. Two people I've seen live performing who have actually made me feel like I had a prank being played on me was Doja Cat at the Heaven event in New York. Well, she's part of the Illuminati now. You no, know I'm not kidding. I'm, I genuinely, I rarely am stepping back and I'm like, this is insane. Actually, that's not true. Every time I see a famous person and see the way people interact with them, I genuinely feel like a prank is being pulled on me because I can't believe that our human brains are like that intrigued with a random fucking person. And it really freaks me out. And two, um, it literally makes me step back and I'm like, this is Holly weird. Like, I understand. I understand the people with like 20 likes on TikTok who are like going off and going on a rant. That's how the Drake concert made me feel. And I didn't want to explain it to you because I wanted to say it on the podcast. He scares the fuck out of me. Something really sinister We need happening. him on the like, podcast. No, I swear to God. I would basically. have sex with him though. Do not. 
if you're hearing this, I will have sex with you. Like, no questions. Um, because I will say he did come down, like, near where we were standing, where our tickets were. And I saw him. And the way my, like, I, like, was like, oh, my God. Um, whoa. Uh, hi. Like, the way I felt, I felt like a teenage girl. But then the second he was on stage, like, the second he was, like, 10 feet away and I saw him touching everyone's hands and everybody yelling at him, I was like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever witnessed. Um, and that's not necessarily a commentary on, like, fan culture, but more like he. Like, something, something is happening. I'm something really you. scary is happening. The concert felt really weird. I was so happy I didn't get high because I was high at the Doge Cat heaven thing. And I felt like she was playing a prank on me when I was there. Like, that's the only way I could describe it. There is a video of me post crying like in the car with my hand out and I'm wearing that green shirt if you've seen that video that was literally me after seeing Doja Cat live and I cried because I felt so scared <laughs> and uncomfortable and I was so happy I almost took an edible before I went and saw Drake and I'm so happy I didn't because like also the little kid who he keeps bringing on stage does that kid not have school like is he being paid like do we need to help him like why is he just on stage and I literally thought he was a hologram or like an animatronic for half the show and it was genuinely terrifying doesn't me. he like, have holograms he has like filters playing on people's faces or and no, stuff. like on stage isn't there like a hologram of him but it's like someone projecting projecting mapping his face on like a younger version of him and he's yeah it is like it's it's weird like i don't understand how they did it well i wasn't close enough to see if the kid actually like looks like him or had something on his face but on the screen they have it like um like a deep fake thing of his own face playing and the kid is like i guess told to move really weird because he looks like an animatronic and i when i first saw it, i was like oh my god he has a hologram like what the fuck is that and then i realized it was actually a couch and like actually a person on there but it was really really scary um so that's my update is i'm really scared of drake yeah any any time i'm at a concert like it's like the most euphoric I've ever been. Like, I'm like, oh, like, I love this so much. I love that everyone is here for the same thing. And then, like, I always have these really, really low moments where I, like, am looking at a sea of people in the back of their heads and, like, they're all, like, barely moving. And I'm like, are y'all even alive? Like, are people <laughs> existing behind me? Like, this is really fucking weird simulation shit. Like, and I'm sure everybody has that moment where they're like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, this is so weird. But yeah, I or get, other like, people the just, most like, enjoy their life i get the most existential i've ever been like ever self-aware and existential at concerts every time i go i'm just like this is so so bizarre it gets so scary um, like i don't know it was really weird also people yeah. kept taking videos of me and i'm like guys come yeah, on yeah i know that well, was really it. weird I, I was I was telling everyone that that video is like literally I think one of the funniest things you've ever done <laughs> one and two like it was one of those moments where I was like jealous like that I wasn't the one to make that joke like I was so <laughs> like damn this is so funny somebody reposted that video on TikTok and one of the top comments was like do you understand how confused the people who were trying to film Drake are when they look back at the video <laughs> and they just see you looking Pose. at them like. <laughs> Hey, yes, I'm here. I'm there here. was one girl who she like behind her phone, like had her phone like this and kept being like, she was like, <laughs> and, like didn't want to look at me, mm. like kept trying to like, m like maneuver her phone where she couldn't see my face because everybody I was like right by the stairs. So everybody right there was like stare not staring at me but they were trying to see drake yeah but like i was just staring right at all of them and i caught eye contact with every single person and every single person probably thought i was a fucking psychopath a like the way i walk into any situation and i clock one person who makes me uncomfortable i'm like cool they're gonna stab me i was giving that to a someone stabbing else that night. Today. a stabbing a today a stabbing today <laughs> this episode is sponsored by better help as many of us know, because I will never fail to mention it, I'm going through a lot of personal issues right now, and I have found myself turning to my therapist more often than I did in the last few months. Having that safe space to turn and really go through everything and be honest about how I feel is so important to me so I can navigate the decisions I make 
way easier and with confidence that I'm making the right decisions for myself. I think that's a big thing a lot of people struggle with. We can turn to friends all we want, but our friends will sadly be a little biased towards the things that they think are best for us based on their own experience. And sometimes it's honestly just good to have a non-biased blank canvas to throw your problems at and get good, solid information back. Maybe you're thinking about a career change or feeling like your relationship needs some TLC. Whatever it is, therapy can help you map out your future and trust yourself to find the way forward. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. This episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by ShipStation. So there are a few things in my life that I wish I could automate. The dishes, um, bathing myself because I hate taking showers, and most importantly, laundry. And I know a few of y'all listening have a nasty, dirty pile of clothes sitting on your bed that you need to do laundry for. So just go do your laundry. Um, But after listening to this episode, we live in an increasingly automated world, but some things still require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. ShipStation is incredibly easy to use. There is a dashboard that allows you to manage all of your orders, whether you ship from Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, it's all in one place. It's very, very simple. Print shipping labels, easily compare shipping rates and delivery times to optimize every single shipment. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use my promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have used ShipStation to grow their e-commerce business. And 98% of those companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code EMERGENCY today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code EMERGENCY. Um, Yeah, I think we need to have Doja Cat on to fight the Illuminati allegations. I think what I think is it's a case of all publicity is good publicity taken too far. And this whole satanic panic, like everyone playing off of this satanic panic, like as publicity is just so tried and fucking boring. And like everyone was just fucking fed up with it. And like Doja just took it too fucking far. She was just like, like, yeah, I don't know. That's my take on it. Like no one's actually in the fucking Illuminati. The Illuminati isn't fucking real. She just took or it too it? far. Guys, is it? Like, how would we know? It's right in front of you guys. I know. We're not in the Illuminati. Oh, you remember the black eye photo of me? You know the thing of those people like touching the orb? No. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. Like, Why don't you ask me if I knew about it? Well, I assume since you're, well, a, you're girl, a girl. Oh, you're, okay, you're not okay. as I was, intellectual. I was just making sure that was why. You're not as intellectual as us boys. <laughs> Well, Drew's obviously the schizophrenic one, you know. So. <laughs> and I'm the normal one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's always one normal one and one schizophrenic <laughs> one in the squad. But, no, it's like some island that all these conspiracy theorists were like, oh, elites go to this island and they do rituals. Oh, it's like the big owl burning? Yes. Yeah, yeah, And then, yeah, yeah. like, photos came out of, like, actual people that were, like, touching an orb. Mm. And, like, Hillary Clinton's there. Bro, like that's like the gowns. equivalent to when white people just like take an overly holistic viewpoint of their life because they get so bored and they don't have problems. And yeah. then they're like, we need to do something. The end. Like, we just need to do something. Like, so I'm literally so bored. So they, yeah, so they start just like going and making shit up. Like, that yeah. has to be the equivalent of that. It's like, it's like when Bohemian people go growth. on like a spa retreat. Right. That's their version of a spa retreat because they've been to too many spa retreats. So they're like, we need to start our own thing. Guys. Yeah. 
And then there, there's that big fucking tunnel too that they dug through, and then oh, they the had tunnel like the, under uh, Ocean Boulevard. Yes, and it was for a Lana Del Rey release party, and they had like a really demonic like um, ritual done, like a big dance thing. And like watching it, like when I was 14, I was like, oh wow, this is really crazy. But I think it's literally just like people like being stupid, and that's what I'm gonna choose to believe, so I don't go. It's, they're all fucking high as shit. They all but did. I'll like- show you the video. It's it's honestly really bizarre like the shit that they're acting out and it's like wait is it famous people no no it's like rich it's people really really wealthy people like bored through a mountain and like the opening it was like a big hole in the ground and like the ceremony after was like just really creepy and it was like the the um olympic That's just ceremony Burning Man. in 2012 or something like that or 2016 like, like had like a big ass like sculpture of like a grim reaper and like uh, like uh, the Olympics. Yeah, they they had like a big, like their Olympic ritual, and then there was like viruses everywhere, and people were like, it was predictive programming for like, um, the pandemic that's gonna come in twenty twenty, um, or it could have been like twenty eighteen, but it was it was one year. Well, the only time I watched the Olympics was in twenty twelve when One Direction performed. That's <laughs> the only time I've ever seen anything about the Olympics. Like, I'm not kidding. Is it the Olympics happening in L A. this year? Um, or is it next year, 2024? 2024. Why are we going to the Olympics? That's fucking lit. Wait, Isn't, that was the Olympics. I know. And then it's kind of insane for the Olympics. That's what I'm saying. Wait, it's that like, was the Olympics too? Yes. And then there's like crazy people in like beds and shit. Like it's really, it's really, it is really bizarre. Oh, um, the wait, LA why is it a pirate? 2028. 2028. Um, Bitch, this is Hamilton. <laughs> I've never seen Hamilton, bro. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, I just know that one dude is like really creepy. Um, Puerto Rico, him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Uh, but what did um, you just say? Oh, uh, you were, you just said something. I said I've only seen the Olympics when One Direction oh, played. Oh, I that was the only time I tapped in, and I remember that day so vividly because that was the day I was like, I was thirteen. I was like, I'm gonna live in New York and be a writer, and I was sitting there watching One mm-hmm. Direction. Which is like, okay, like you swear. Like what the fuck? Like you're literally watching. You and I was eating Special K cereal. Mm. And it was really fun. And I miss those times. The only time I really tuned into the Olympics was um, Michael Phelps like gold medal run. And when I found out Michael Phelps smoked weed, it was earth shattering like for heartbreaking me. or it, yes i was like it's like when we all found out zane and justin bieber smoked weed and we we're like stop please well justin bieber smokes meth <laughs> with selena gomez have you seen a video of them like <laughs> no. literally like running through like a meth like a meth populated area and like they just bought meth and they like are running away no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's but really you saying crazy. that reminded me of sean mendez and camilla <laughs> <laughs> the pit, the video of them walking. Walking through the neighborhood in Miami. That's literally one of the best videos ever. We gotta insert that. Yeah, we have to insert our recreation of it too. Mm. We were so fucking. Boring. We were literally. Was that pandemic boredom? Yeah, it was, yeah. They, they were going on their pandemic walk, and it was like Sean Mendes and Camila Cabello taking a pandemic walk. Yeah. And it was like them. Oh, there's like a big ass fucking squirrel in that tree right now. You have AD. You have ADHD as fuck. Squirrel. <laughs> Shiny squirrel. Oh. Ew. What was I saying? Shiny. Shiny object. Um. Next time I go to a store and a, like, clerk or sales assistant is being too pushy and really trying to make me buy something I don't want to buy, I'm just going to fucking steal it. Where were we when Since that you want to get rid of it so bad. It was literally a video game store. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They were, like, trying to push video games on us. Um, so I stole a bunch of stuff. Yeah. In retaliation. For a business that needed my purchase, I stole from them. Yeah, I think we should all just start stealing from small businesses. I'm thinking because like, the big businesses are getting, getting hurt. It's it's also just boring. Like, yeah, it's like stealing from people who have enough money, like that can afford. It. Like, no, I want to ruin people's lives. Yeah, I want this to like really. I want to cause a domino effect. I don't do mm-hmm. anything just to do it. I do it for the domino effect. We should destroy the economy. Oh, when they're like all these freaking financial studies coming out that like Taylor Swift when she 
goes to certain places on tour that she like stimulates the economy like in a crazy way like i think it was it was philadelphia or it was either philadelphia or another p word um place that she oh, visited the p word you're thinking of is, is your mom's p word because when i go there i overstimulate See, it, it was crazy. actually your gat pussy like <laughs> girl you got a gat for a vagina <laughs> your vagina is gat <laughs> what? Gat, but <laughs> what is that you got a gat <laughs> a gat vagina what <laughs> It's like when you see like a big butt, you're supposed to go, yeah, damn. Oh, okay. But like people are <laughs> you're not supposed to say it like that. Yeah, damn. <laughs> what? Gat. You got a gat. Um, but Taylor <laughs> Swift. Pretending and... to be straight. <laughs> <laughs> but Taylor Swift stimulates Wait, the economy. Wait, that's how you said butt and not boobs. You said big butt and not oh, boobs. that's true. That's so true. it's not straight. Okay, that's sorry. True. Okay, Taylor Swift stimulates herself. Keep going. <laughs> no, she stimulates the economy Weird in the craziest way. about a woman you way. don't know like that, but you know. In Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, or somewhere, um, the like tourism board like said that it was the most hotels ever rented out in a single three-day period and it was something like three hundred thousand hotel rooms were rented out which like if you think about that for Is three that many that's th hotels th that's like a billion dollars in revenue for pennsylvania philadelphia or something like that Dude. that's crazy and then not uh, not even to mention like all the ubers and the Fuck, people when eating. we go on tour we're literally gonna like the, the economy is gonna be boosted back up <laughs> like it's gonna we're be gonna fucked up I'm, gonna, I'm honestly gonna feel bad for everybody in those towns who like aren't used to that kind of like traffic traffic yeah they're it's gonna like gonna be, be late to work and stuff and we're it's gonna like damage <laughs> the economy we're gonna have to like file for we're bankruptcy the negative yeah we're gonna have to like beg <laughs> the government to give us money back <laughs> what the fuck were you looking at? I was looking at your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you like were because you were gonna. <laughs> Ooh. It reeks in here. I almost said something so fucking gross, but. Um, what were we gonna say? It wasn't even that gross, but it was just disgusting to say to you but i was gonna be like oh do you want to just give it a taste so you can put the rumors to rest <laughs> but the idea of me looking at you and saying do you want to can't look me at the cookie? eyes anymore <laughs> um well this this is one line and one line only and we're not touching on it for any longer than we have to but big sexy man had emergency intercom playing in the background if you're watching hello <laughs> you know what i'm talking about yeah i know you i know because i said it to about. you immediately and what's crazy is i I had already stalked this person a lot a lot of not, a not lot a of lot. videos were seen a like, lot yeah, why are you backtracking because now you're embarrassed because i'm embarrassed um but you can key we can we don't have to talk about it yeah, we can move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Should I? Uh, this is all notes on a specific event that happened that I was like, I wanted to talk about. What's the but event? But I want to make a movie about it or like write a movie about it because it is the one of the craziest things I've ever heard happen and no one's made a movie on it yet. And it's fucking crazy because it would be like a sick Cronenberg movie. I mean, not Cronenberg, uh, Coen Brothers or, like, what Wes Anderson. What the fuck Anderson. is Cronenberg? Uh, he's, he's another, like, really creepy director. He makes really creepy movies. Oh, okay. Um, but it's the 1904 Olympic Marathon. I don't know about that, bro. I, like, I'm sorry. 1904 isn't a year I need to have any, like, knowledge on. It's... Damn, the okay, worst... I'm sorry, but that squirrel is going in. He's hanging upside down right now. Squirrel. It's the worst race um, Wait, ever. Wait, please come in here and look at it, Drew. His feet are hanging off. Do you see that? His feet are hanging off the what ledge. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> He's tweaking. Where is he? Where'd he go? I don't know. For some reason, they like. Oh, you can see him. <laughs> I've never seen them do that. He's like using his feet to hold him and his tail. He's gonna kill. He's gonna kill guys like. He's gonna fall and fucking die. He's gonna kill. Dude, what's crazy is that animal has no fear of literally falling to his death right now. Like, that's not even on his mind. Do you see that, Kai? Oh, whoa, yeah. He has really big nipples. <laughs> it had, like, six big-ass fucking nipples. So, fucking really? massive areolas. I've never 
seen a squirrel or... actually do what a squirrel was meant to do? Usually they just like run up the trunk roofs. of the tree. Yeah. Or they're like climbing on roofs and or fucking wire. wires. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the 1904 Olympic marathon was the worst race in human history. Um, it was like in 1904, so they obviously didn't understand like proper hydration and like how to take care of people. By 1904, they didn't know they needed water. They knew they needed w water, but they didn't know like at the rate. They didn't know that they needed Red 40. Which yet. I'm still, I'm still <laughs> like, I don't believe that we need that much water to survive because I swear to God, from like six years old to like 21 i only drank coca-cola for that's like, being really nice to yourself from 21 to 25 right now because no, 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 you no, still no. don't really <laughs> oh my god it's funny because it wasn't on camera and i haven't seen that in your hands listen it's <laughs> since empty. we last recorded i it's haven't seen empty. it in his hand proper hydration <laughs> <laughs> has like sugar your cum that. water <laughs> well it is just jizz um, Add your Adderall water. Addy water. When me and Inya were on press play, we would find um, Adderall pills and dump them into bottles of water because we wanted to share them. But they were the ones that you had that like capsules that had a bunch of little beads in it. And we would put it in water, but it's not water soluble. So we would shake it up and it wouldn't melt. And we would go to drink it. And, and we would like each whoever give gets each the other. most little pellets gets yeah, the most Adderall. And we were like fighting to be the person to get the last swig. And like whoever got the last swig and got the full And you will dose. never guess who won. Yeah. And you won. And it was fucked up. I won. But yeah, we were, we were drinking Adderall water. You know Molly water? And I was up till 8 a.m and then we continued to go and meet all of you guys hung over at the ripe age of 17 it was crazy. bloodshot eyes shaking in like a in a in like um, purgatory almost like it was really <laughs> yeah. crazy like you couldn't even think thoughts um okay so this race um was on unpaved roads. It was like dirt roads. <laughs> they were running on dirt roads through the middle of the city in St. Louis. They what? were running from the coming of Christ. No, like, why are they just, like, running on dude, unpaved it's, roads? Dude, it's so crazy. And, like, also they started this race at 3 p.m. in <laughs> St. Louis in the middle of fucking summer. So in the shade, it was 90 degrees. And outside of shade, it was upwards of 105 degrees running a marathon which in today's standard like you cannot start a race legally if it's higher than 70 degrees like really i mean it, i think you can but it's like really really hardly recommended that like you, you do don't that. start yeah. the ideal temperature to start a race is 40 to 50 degrees damn um, like you want to be cold and then work and then your you, way up he, yeah, yeah. Right, right. and you want to be done by fucking 10 like you don't want to be racing yeah, yeah you don't want to be racing um and on top of all of that, on this race, there were only two water stations the entire marathon. This is the Olympics? This isn't like someone this was just is, having fun? This is the Olympics. And there were only... Was it the first Olympics? No. There were only two water stations. And the reason why is fucking crazy. So the commissioner of the race was like using these people as like experiments. And he wanted to like research, quote unquote, purposeful dehydration. Um, which oh, is so it was crazy. On yeah, so they only put two water stations in 100 degree weather to like experiment on these like poor fucking racers. Like it was so, so sad. Um, and then I could keep getting into it. I, I could wanna, go deep. I want to know what happened. I could really go deep. Um, is it sad? There's like some parts that are like, damn. But um, only 34% of the people who started the race finished. So only 14 people finished. And this is the Olympics. I would Olympics. not want to fight any of those bitches. Yeah, they're they're real, real, like, healthy. And, like, people were literally just, like, collapsing and, like, coughing up blood and, like, literally almost dying because of all the dust they were inhaling on this race. Like, they were sprinting Did they through do the it on the road like that on purpose? Or they just... It was just through the city. That was just a plus for the freaks who were putting on the experiment they were like oh cool yeah, now, now like we get to see yeah toxins. now we get to see their freaking um well like this race was so insane that people were literally like being run off the fucking course by rabid animals and like <laughs> Wait, dogs were chasing them around <laughs> yeah it's like really really crazy it's um pan am yeah yeah <laughs> Um, this was in Orlando, Florida. So this this is a story I'm like, oh, Wes Anderson needs to make a movie about this. But one of the racers... I thought he was, like, happy with his movies. Oh, the, the story of one of the racers. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the racers was this <laughs> mailman from Cuba 
Kai, shut the hell yeah, up. Yeah, he's fucking first, talking. I think that was the first time I've ever sneezed on. A I podcast. think so. I think so. Um, it sounded very like a like a girl sneezing. So. Oh, well, yeah, it was like a really girlish sneeze. It was like, Achoo! what's wrong with that? I bet he's gonna put a vocalizer on it to make it deeper. Yeah, yeah, because it was like you and like, like stretch it out a little bit. Like you like let out a little bone. Yeah, and I'm gonna edit a bunch of farts throughout the entire episode while you guys are talking. Um, that's so good for us, like, actually. Are that's you calling exactly. me fart mouth? <laughs> Whoa. That's good for us, actually. <laughs> um, one of the racers was a mailman from Cuba. And, like, so to get to the Olympics is, like, it's really fucking expensive. And, like, you need sponsors and, like, you need funding. Like, a lot of people just can't afford to go to the Olympics on their own, especially in 1904. What was it like? Three dollars to go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before inflation, um, it was twenty well, he cents. Would do, he was doing this thing called like uh, running for money or something. I don't know the fucking term for it, but he would literally just like run around <laughs> he was Cuba. Doing this thing called like just, working for money. Yeah, he would run around Cuba <laughs> and just like collect donations um, from people. Yeah, he, and like they to get him to the Olympics yeah. because like he wanted to go really badly. Well. He, it's finally time for him to fucking leave. He gets on the boat and he's driving across the ocean and fucking partying on this big ass boat, like with all the money he just got. Then he lands in um, Louisiana. And when he gets to Louisiana, he's not supposed to be there very long, but he like gets there and just gambles all of his money away and parties the That's entire fucking oh, time he's oh, there. Oh. Like he turns the he fuck turns up. up and he goes to Miami and well, starts a family and now he still lives there. Well, this dude he's is alive. Yeah, exactly. Well, this dude is like, oh, fuck, I like have a race. <laughs> so he like starts hitchhiking, but he has no money to get to the fucking race. So he starts hitchhiking and he's like taking buggies and cars and riding trains all the way okay, to St. Louis. What the fuck did the cars then, and shit look like? And there wasn't cars yet. They were insane. And then he gets there. And when he gets there, um, it's like seconds before the race and there's photos of him and right before the race he's in like civilian clothing he fucking stinks he's been traveling for 40 hours he hasn't eaten in 40 hours he's like so oh hell no uh -oh. <laughs> bitch oh my god imagine getting this on your sweet 16 yeah. I'd be pissed <laughs> no that'd be, be fucking pissed. lit what are you I talking about I actually was reading an Eve Babbitt's book and she was like in this book sorry to interrupt but in Here this book go. she's talking to somebody who grew up in like the fucking 1920s and shit so by the time this girl was 16 in 1927 her parents gave her a car and they were like oh it was a ford model t and me looking for a vintage car i'm like oh what's a ford model t <laughs> bitch <laughs> uh, you were looking at the uh, <laughs> you were gonna buy a ford model t because fucking eve babbitt's because <laughs> not even eve babbitt's had it her friend had it wait ford model t look at this fucking car oh bitch. no uh steven's dad has one yeah bitch here I go. The Bitch, fuck? Here I go. Wait, it was literally like, like one of these. Yeah, those are classics. Actually, man. this is low key lit. Like, I'd be serving Great Gatsby. Yeah, Great Gatsby core. It's giving Follow Gatsby. the light. Okay, ah. so this dude gets to the race right before it's about to start, and he's in just full civilian clothing, and all these racers are in like short shorts, like cut off sleeves, Beam like sluts. they're literally just like ready and prepared for the race. Well. He's like, fuck, I can't race in this. So he literally cuts off his pants like into shorts and he cuts his sleeves into short sleeves and he's just gonna race in civilian clothing. Well, he hasn't eaten in 40 hours because he was just hitchhiking the whole way there. And like, there's like mixed, um, like people- Recounts? Yeah, mixed accounts of like recounts of this happening. So like this could be real or it couldn't, could not be real, but I'm gonna choose it to be real. You choose to take it how you want. But this dude was starving, so he ran up to two strangers who were eating peaches, and he stole these peaches from them, ate them really quick, and then just started the race. Like he, the race started, and he's like, obviously, two peaches isn't doing anything for you. You have to run like what is it like fucking ten miles? Is how long is a marathon? Like fourteen miles or some shit? Twenty miles? Twenty six miles? I don't yeah. fucking know. Um, because it's in kilometers, like, bitch, fuck kilometers, like, literally <laughs> fuck kilometers, kill yourself. Um, well, 
he like is in the middle of this race and he's starving his stomach's hurting and they're running past an orchard um on this race and so he goes up and he grabs a bunch of apples on the floor and starts eating them well those apples were like hella hella fucking rotten so like he starts getting like really gnarly cramps and bubbly guts and like he feels really sick and he's about to throw up he's also been running in 100 degree weather for like fucking two hours or something and he's just like freaking the fuck out so he lays down in the shade to take a nap well he wakes up and um he's like fuck i need to finish this race so he just starts running and he (laughs) he is one of the only people to finish the race and he placed fucking fourth place while taking a nap in the middle of the race if that shows you how fucking awful these conditions were this seems like a story like a teacher would tell you about taking your time in life literally, like, does that make literally. Sense? Like, so there was this man so then there was this guy named fred lors who was the winner and he finished the race in three hours and 15 minutes which i think for today's standards is pretty fucking fast let alone doing it in 100 degree weather in uh, 1904. Well, he had that. He had roads. his Arcturix um, water yeah, bag on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got. He had the. Yeah. He had his Gorp on. Yeah, he had Gorp core. Um, well, this dude was a good w- runner, like world class, um, and he was actually really impressive. Um, but as he crossed the finish line, he was like partying with like Franklin Franklin Roosevelt's daughter. Like the press was like hyping him up. Damn, he was about to receive. He was about his, to hit. No, he was about to bang. He was getting interviewed. <laughs> like it was. It was a. It was being the lone survivor ass. of the world's most chaotic marathon and getting to hit. Yeah, no, he won. He was probably really stinky. Ooh, he probably had good pheromones. Yeah, she was smelling his pheromones. Um, I mean, he's getting interviewed, and then it comes out that this dude halfway through the race collapsed at mile nine from like dehydration and cramps, and took a fucking car all the way to a mile before the finish line and just jogged the rest. And like, he made it believable (laughs) enough that like, it was like, yeah, so he cheated and got first place. Did he hit though? Yeah, he smashed, he hit. He fucking finessed Franklin Roosevelt's double. Um, (laughs) Fuck, man. Um, But the real winner was Thomas Hicks. And halfway through the race, he was, like, begging for water and, like, freaking the fuck out. He was, like, so dehydrated, like, as everyone was. And he had his, like, two trainers with him. This dude is, like, a world-class runner. I think he went on the next year to actually win first place again in 1905. Um, But, like, halfway through the race, obviously, like everyone else, he was, like, freaking the fuck out, dehydrated. And he had his trainers with him. And they were, like, really trying to motivate him to, like, go further. And it was to the point where he was, like, collapsing in their arms. He was like, I really, I cannot finish this. I cannot do this race. Well, his trainers are like, fuck, like, we have to do something. He's like, there's a puff bar at the the finish line. (laughs) Basically, basically, dude, what they did is they propped him up on their shoulders and they didn't want to, like, shock his system. And so they got, like, a dirty-ass fucking rag and just, like, dripped water into his mouth and, like sponge bath him with water and they were like is that enough and he was like no like i'm not gonna be able to finish this race so what they fucking did in true 1904 fashion gave him a bottle of brandy and a bottle and they thought it was a stimulant back then so he chugged a bottle of brandy they cracked an egg into his mouth and he ate the egg whites or i think he ate the whole egg um into his mouth and like that was supposed to give him enough energy And that still wasn't working. On my birthday, we are going to crack a bottle of Casamigos into my mouth, throw an egg in there, and I'm about to literally run back to Miami. Yes. And then so (laughs) that still wasn't working. So they gave him fucking strychnine, which is is rat poison. They just gave him a (laughs) bunch of fucking rat poison. So they gave him brandy. This sounds like the best day ever. I know, dude. Well, he was was, like tweaking off the fucking bean. (laughs) Like he was literally like hallucinating like this shit like affects your nervous system like i forget what it's like toxic to your nervous system so like it just like whatever motion you're doing your body just does and you like can't fucking stop so he's like repeating this like (laughs) jogging motion like all the way to the fucking finish line and eventually like another couple miles in like his uh he's like kind of failing a little bit so his uh trainer's flag down a dude which in 1904 this is crazy they flag a dude down in his car 
the dude is like, hey, do you have anything to give him? He's like, oh, I have another bottle of brandy. So he drinks another fucking <laughs> bottle of brandy. And like, he, so he's two bottles of brandy deep. He's strict nine, like the fuck out, like hallucinating. Like think about doing like DMT and that's like what it's doing to this man. <laughs> um, and he's like geeking. Like we literally told bro we geek hard. Like <laughs> he's like the OG I, geeker. Like, it's hard to believe that all these things were happening during this one race. I know. It's like, really, really crazy. Um well, he's literally like a zombie at this point, like just like <laughs> like stumbling. Yeah, through. getting through it. And even crossing the finish line in this race is like you deserve a medal like this. It's crazy. They were like breathing in fucking glass dust and like chemicals and it was dirt and it was so bad. Well, like, um, <laughs> oh, I wrote down AH uh, American Horror Story Asylum post lobotomies, like what he was like, what he <laughs> looked like. Yeah. Um, full blown LSD trip. Well. He crosses his finish line and it, he's like tweaking so hard off this strict nine that when his like uh, people lift him up, he's still running. Like, you know, when you like put a dog over like water yeah. and they like swim like with their legs, he was doing that in real life, but like jogging. He was like, and there's a photo of him sitting in like this buggy and he's like, <laughs> like he's <laughs> literally like freaking the fuck out. I'm not out. kidding. Like, for my birthday, this is what we're doing. I would and do, then you gotta get that pic of me in an Uber back I, home. I would literally do rap poison <laughs> just because it sounds fun. But this dude in three hours and 20 minutes lost eight pounds. And I'm like, damn, like skinny, like skinny, skinny, skinny. Like I need to do that. Like, like. So basically he walked poison, away like a, a triple winner. Yes, exactly. Best high skinny ever, high lost weight and, and won the race. won the race. So he was. But did he, he, the, what's crazy is he didn't get to hit Roosevelt's daughter. No, 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 no. Like, um, let him hit, come on. But yeah, he, he won the real race, the skinny race. Um, and, <laughs> Yeah, he came out in of the closet and was a winner. Wait, what? What if I told you that I made all of that up? I would, like, seriously think you need psychiatric help. I made all that up. Did you actually? No. Oh, I believe you. You were like, damn, you're so creative. Like, you should no, make that No, I was just like, movie. damn, we got to take that iPad away from you and take you outside. <laughs> iPad, baby. But no, that's, like, obviously 1904 stories. So there's, like, a lot of, like, fucking lies in there. But, like, um... Yeah, it's crazy. Also, there was just like a lot of weird, funky shit going on, like previously with that Olympics, and like it was just it was a really, really Dude, humans awful are time. so bored. Like we are literally so bored. The Olympics, like it's are so, so it's fucking so funny. funny. It's literally like. Dude, let's see how good we could get at doing a flip. Let's see how good we can throw this ball. Like it's so it's crazy. so weird. Dude, they need to do um the sex olympics because i'd probably win gold like in most of the categories yeah. like most sex had like goodest at sex like biggest penis like that's probably <laughs> i would probably win all those categories i don't think so all right well i'll leave you off with one more thing and i was watching a tiktok and this dude like fell down that slide and like one of the comments was like oh he gave us like a whimpering audio or something and it was highlighted blue and i was like i shouldn't click that i really i should not click what that blue text right now because it's going to be the worst thing i've ever fucking heard in my life um and you can link stuff in tiktok comments now i don't know how they did it but like it was like blue in the comment and i clicked on it and what I found is mm -hmm. the most appalling, horrific, craziest shit ever. It's just a bunch of like blank screens with exclamation points saying, turn it up, turn it up. Like literally just like in headphones, like, and it's like, it's a whimper challenge and it's fucked Ew. up. Dude, that is yeah. really gross. <laughs> it's it, like it literally was the most horrific thing I've ever stumbled upon. And it's literally just like fucking they're all boomers. They're all like, do you remember that silhouette challenge where like, 
people would yeah, get yeah, naked yeah. in the door frame, oh. and it was just like all <laughs> yeah. really fucking old people. Like I'm literally red. Like that. Like was <laughs> fucked up. But like. Yeah, it's literally those Damn, same dude, people. Dude, like humans are so funny because how are you that horny that like you're like like slinging just, meat like, on a fucking yeah on the app? timeline? Yeah. Like it's so insane. A silhouette of your like dong <laughs> hanging between your legs, like it's crazy. <laughs> um, that's really gross. Yeah. Well, you don't have any Drew Sap. Actually, I have a side. Oh, I do have a you. bunch. Actually, I completely forgot about that. Fuck. Wait, I have one for you. Um, While you're my phone's about it, to die. There's this thing called Ghost Kids, and they're industry plant gorillas, and it's the craziest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. What? Yeah, there's like um, industry plant gorillas now, um, like the band The Gorillas, and they posted a flyer of Rolling Loud and was like, oh, we're like gonna be playing Rolling Loud. And Everyone was like, who the fuck are you? No, you're not. Why are you lying? And everybody thought it was like this <laughs> Drew Psyop corner. When the face ID fucking up and I got to lock in. <laughs> <laughs> like our phones literally make us serve to it to like unlock. Know, like, like sometimes it just fucking happens. You have to be like. Yeah. <laughs> like you really? got to lock in. You got to lock in. Um, but Sorry. yeah, the no, you're good. The Gorillas uh, industry plant, they said they were performing um, rolling Loud and even Rolling Loud was like, no, the fuck you're not. And everybody thought it was like this big, like, um, uh, like publicity stunt. Well, they literally did play Rolling Loud and they opened for Little Uzi. And like, it's the craziest shit I've ever seen. And it is the most obvious industry plant I have ever seen in my entire life. And they have a song with like Vince Staples and like, I don't know. It's really, really fucking bizarre. And you should look up videos um, when you get a chance because it's so, so weird. And like all of their accounts are like super fucking botted. Like on TikTok, they have like 5 million likes or followers and they get like 100,000 likes. We need to bot our own accounts. I know. I'm literally yeah, about I'm gonna to. Bar People account. probably say that because like why the fuck do all of our views like our videos get that many views? Like it's insane. It's because we bought them. Yeah. We do bot our video videos. Um, videos. Okay. I'm going to get my charger. Welcome to Drew Psyop Corner. The ZA got me thinking about tragedies that haven't even happened yet. <laughs> March 3rd, 2024. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That was then when that that was right before my birthday. Something bad is gonna happen. Um Okay, this one's Sorry, good. Just... Imagine giving me head and I yell out, boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't come to my house. Uh, don't come to my house pouring big cups of juice. <laughs> Washed up bitches love throwback Thursday. <laughs> That's literally me. Emergency intercom release days is like the Super Bowl for people with crumbs in their bed. <laughs> Burger King be like 20 nuggets for $1.50. Boy, that shit is leftover BBL meat. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to fly a lucky follower out to my house and fuck them all day. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to start media. I don't have any movies or anything. Somebody was like, oh, my God, it's taking you so long to watch the fucking Sopranos because of the thing I posted. But that's a draft from, like, May uh, that I made. But it is taking me forever. I only have... Look, I only have 20 episodes left to watch, which is literally a full day worth. I heard y'all talking about it last night. Like, yeah. You had like 21. And I also heard you talk shit about me briefly. Oh, what I You say? thought I was asleep and you were walking to the bathroom and you said something to someone. So you said my name. What did I, I say? I don't know, but I heard you. And it woke me up immediately because I was like, oh, wow, someone's talking shit about me. But you said it angeredly. I think you were talking to Josh and I was like, oh, wow, this is crazy. I don't remember talking Everyone shit Everyone talks shit about me behind my back. It's so Sis, weird. I talk shit right to your fucking face because I'm not fucking scared of you. How about that? Oh! Spring by Angel Olsen. Right. I'm going to need your phone too. Right. To go to the emergency intercom playlist because my phone's dead. Glad Tidings by Van Morrison. Um, Drew Wimper Challenge that oh. only I have. <sighs> Ew. Um, and honestly, those are my only medias that I could give you today. Like, how about that? I don't really have much to give you. You've taken everything from me. <clears throat> That's my media challenge. 
I just got um, so tired. I actually don't think I have any media. I don't for think you anybody guys. cares about media. So how about that? I know, literally, no one cares. No one actually gets international a fuck. We players do it for ourselves. anthem by Outkast oh, and UGK. Um, Close to you, the Cranberries cover. I was listening to that again because it's so good. Flim by Aphex Twin. My girl, there you fucking go. I, oh, I'm rewatching Death Note again for like the 18th time. And every time I watch it, it's so fucking good, bruh. Like, it is so good. All the twists and turns in the first two episodes, I'm, like, gagged every time. Even even though I've seen it, like, a hundred times, I'm gagged every fucking time. And those goddamn apples, like, yeah. I want to eat those fucking apples so bad. So, 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 so bad. Oh, um, my last, actually, media song is Sprung by T-Pain, which I think I said last week. And then I heard it in a store yesterday, and I haven't heard that in public since yeah, 2009. Oh, so. I don't so. think I've ever heard that song in public. Really? Mm-mm. It was such a popular song. Yeah. I'm sprung, won't you get me? But also, like, the public I went to was Granberry, and yeah. there were, like, eight stores total, and all of them were, like, grocery stores. And they were playing a CD. Yeah, Exactly. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I just want to apologize that I wasn't myself today. I'm going through a lot right now. He's lying. He's like not going through anything. So he just wants I, to. I, I don't tell you everything I go through. <laughs> Y'all don't know. Like, that's the thing is I keep a lot of things in into myself. Hey, you shouldn't because, do that. You should be open with me. Well, no, like men aren't. Allowed I'm going to through talk. like men stuff aren't, too. So men aren't. Like, one aren't allowed to cry. To, Boys don't cry. Uh, men shouldn't go to therapy. Yes. Um, because like therapy is for bitches and women. Like <laughs> the, um, yeah. Wow. Okay, that's a good way to leave the episode. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. <laughs>